Here's the bodies getting the ball to Denzel Gregg. He puts the shot up and in as the bodies get a guy loose under the basket. The bodies with the ball. Here's uh, Adams going right wing to Caputo. Nelson for three. Good. That was a deep one. He almost was in the lap of the Vermont coach. He gives it to Nelson. Caputo gives it up to Adams. Jay with a long three. Good. <laughs> Boy, that's a, that's Jay penetrating. He'll give it back to Denzel, who fakes the three. Gives it back to Jay. Jay for three. Good. And the bodies lead it by a score of 36-25. And Vermont takes another timeout. <laughs> Dion Wright gives it to Adams. Adams gives it back to Dion. Dion inside gets done underneath. Throws the ball in the corner out front to Posley. Here's Marcus for three. That's good. Seven three-point basket. Adams on a break. We'll give it to Dion. Dion lays it in. Jay Adams saw Dion at the last second and flipped it over to him. He's come away with the ball. There's a good defensive stand for the Bonnies. And here's Adams going for three. Oh, that's Adam. good. Jay Adams takes up where he left off in the first half. Three-point lead. Here's Adams. Behind the back dribble. Gets it out to Caputo. Nelson for three. Good. And he got knocked down and no call from the official. Seidel put him into the seats. But back to Denzel, down low to Dion. Dion goes up underneath, reverse layup, and he scores. There's the Dion there's, we know. <laughs> yep, there's, there's the long arm of the law, right? The Adams, star of the game for the Bonnies. Again, a career high of 28 points. And the final score is St. Bonaventure 80 and Vermont 68. Bonaventure. Most of us um, beat a, a team that um, is going to be really good in their league. Um, you know, we didn't play our best. I, I thought, you know, we got up, I think, in the first half by 12 um, and, and didn't do a good job of closing out the half. Didn't do a good job in the first half of closing out possessions. Um, but we left, we kept them in the game. And a team like that, if you keep them around long enough, they're going to they're gonna stick. And, um, you know, so we didn't play. No one really played well in the first half. Uh, and, you know, at halftime, we have 11 days off and challenged the guys, that, you know, what do they want to do with these next 11 days. Um, came out a little lethargic in the second half. Uh, they hit two threes, uh, tied the game up, and then we started playing. And um, you know we, we can't we can't allow ourselves to to get leads and then relax. Um, mature teams, when you get up by 12, you know you put the pe the pedal down and you try to you know as we say curb them. And and we started curbing ourselves a little bit. Um, so we got we got to continue to to work. And I thought Jay was was terrific. Uh, especially in the second half, 28 points, seven assists. Played a, you know, played even better than he did against Ohio U. I thought Denzel gave us a lift in the second half. Deion played much better in the second half. Um, you know, so we we found a way to win. Um, we took care of the basketball. We didn't defend well. You know, I say about the trifecta all the time: defend, rebound, take care of the ball. And we took care of the ball one of three, and that's that's why it was a, you know, was a game. You know, so we got to continue to get better. The next 11 days, we gotta we gotta get better as a team. Um, but it was a good victory and. You know, you take a win anytime.